Um, you know, we talked to the guys uh, before the game, and, and we just asked two things of them. We asked for teamwork and intensity. And w the way we framed it is two things that are totally in their control, right? It doesn't matter about the opponent. It doesn't matter about the, the, the field or the, the fans or anything. Those are two things that they can control. And I th that's the type of effort that we saw today. The, the boys certainly delivered on that, and, and that was good. Um, we feel like we made a little step. It's not a huge step, but it's a little step. Um, to be able to play against an amazingly talented Brazil team and bend but not break, and I think give them problems as well, push them as well. So for us, um, looking at it, we think it's a good end to our preparation camp and we're ready for Copa America. Thanks, Greg. We'll start with Stephen Goff from the Washington Post to your right. Greg, uh, you know, these were friendlies. Obviously, they were preparing for Copa America, but emotionally to get a result out of this, um, how does this, you think, impact the team uh, psychologically now going into Copa in less yeah, than two weeks? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a step. Um, you know, when you hear stats like we, haven't, we have an 11-game losing streak against Brazil, right, the odds aren't in your favor. So you want to go out and just put a good performance in. And again, focusing on teamwork, intensity. You know, we knew we'd have to be compact. We knew we'd have to have limit the space between the lines. And we did that really well. You know, when I saw the, the guys in the locker room after the game, they're exhausted. They gave everything. And, um, you know, that's all you could ask for. So we'll, we'll use that little bit of momentum uh, to head into to Copa America. Mikel, a front row. Thank you, Michael. Hi, Greg. Um, just the decision behind starting Junus as number six and Ricardo up top. You know, we wanted to, we purposely wanted to get minutes for some guys. Um, you know, Eunice was one of the guys we wanted to get, let him put in a shift uh, because we're going to need him in Copa America. So it was, um, it was designed for that. And with Rico, you know, Rico's had a tough year. Um, you know, he hasn't gotten the nod too often. And again, another important player for us in Copa America. We wanted to give him a run out, um, see what he can do uh, to prepare him for Copa America. Doug, second row. Greg, you got off to a good start. Eunice nearly scores on that, that drive, and then you give up the goal in the other way. to say, I mean, what did you think of the response from your team? Uh, it, was, it was a great response. I think, you know, when, we look, when I say little step, because there's still really small things that we need to fix. And, and you know, that goal is a perfect example. Uh, we, you know, we targeted the wrong spot. We're way too open. You know, if you, you don't kick balls into that, those areas. Um, you leave yourself too exposed. I think we lost the ball too easily at times when we can keep it. Um, so, you know, with that stuff, we got to get better and we got to keep moving and, and fixing. But, the, you know, it was disappointing, obviously, when the goal went in because you start thinking, oh, here we go again, first 20 minutes of the game, you know, we give up a goal. Um, but it was a great response from the guys. And, you know, those are the things that really build the team and get this team um, with, with a great mindset, knowing they can come back. Paul? Hey, Greg, I, I know you talked about, obviously, the team needing a response and giving a response, but there were some individuals that I thought probably were thinking they needed bounce back performances. Did you talk to any of the guys individually? And how did you feel about kind of some of the individual performances, being able to mentally rebound against an opponent like Brazil and, and put in a better shift after what I'm sure for some of those guys were, you know, what they felt were lows for them against Colombia? Yeah, we challenged the group. Uh, we spoke to them both collectively and individually and challenged them for better performances. You know. We, we never want to make excuses for, for a performance. So when you have conversations with the players, you know, you're, you don't want to give them an out. When you represent the national team, um, you know the pressure and you know what the standard. And, you know, against Colombia, we, we didn't reach that standard. And so we, we did have a challenge to the group. Uh, we wanted to focus on those two things and let everything else take care of itself. Front row to your left. Greg, you've praised Orlando, Central Florida, for their thirst for soccer and their passion for the sport. The, the show they just put on tonight in terms yeah. of the energy, how impressive was that for you? It was great. I mean, you know, we're still undefeated in Orlando, right? Is that true? Have we lost in Orlando? Twice. We have? Okay. So we have a great record in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, you know, the fans were, were amazing. It, it, you know, Orlando has a, lo uh, a large Brazilian contingent, and you can see them come out and support their team. And we talked last week um, after the Columbia game is that that's the beauty of the United States. You, you get to these communities showing up and coming out. And, you know, it's all, 
it's all friendly and it's all a celebration of soccer. And, um, you know, they got to see an exciting match tonight. Jeff Carlisle to your right, Greg. Yep. Greg, what did you make of, of Matt Turner's performance, especially in light of the way the goal happened where it started from his goal kick? Right. Um, just kind of the way that he was able to regroup and, and, and help You, you know, he team. stayed calm, and that, that's the most important thing. He stayed calm. I thought he managed the game well. Um, you know, that was an incident that could have set him back a little bit, his confidence, but he, he responded really well to that. Um, you know, Matt was a guy that w wasn't so happy with his performance last game, and you can see he came out and had a much better game. Front row to your left, Greg. Yep. Earlier you were saying that you're chasing performances rather than results. When yeah. you can get both of those things to go, what does that say about the mental state of your team right now as you're heading into Copa? Well, we didn't get the win, right? So that's, you know, we want, we want to be able to beat teams like this, but we, we do think it's a, a positive step. Um, you know, our record against Brazil hasn't been great. And, um, you know, to have the guys put all the results away and just focus on working together, playing hard, um, and, and doing their role was refreshing because that's what we're going to need to be successful moving forward. Third row, straight ahead. Greg, there wasn't a great volume of chances for your team, but what chances they had, they, they really tested Allison. What, what are your thoughts on, on the attack and, and how it performed tonight? Yeah, I mean, well, it's funny you mention that because I was looking at the stats when, um, when Brazil played England in England. And, uh, you know, Brazil, uh, England had 15 shots, six of them on goal. And we had very similar stats. And it's not going to be easy to create a lot against teams like this. You know, we all, we want to, I want to create more chances, but it's, it's very difficult. But at the end of the day, you know, I think they had a point, a 1.7 expected goals, and we had a, basically a 1, 0.98. So it's not that far off. And, um, you know, the guys did a good job creating enough high quality chances to get a goal. We'll take a few questions from our Zoom audience and begin with Henry Bushnell from Yahoo. Thanks, Michael. And thanks, Greg, for your time. Um, Two-part question on Christian. Um, first of all, just what did you think about the way he set the tone tonight? Not only with his goal, but looked like he was getting stuck into some duels and, and things like that. Um, and also, what did, what did you see from him as the captain of this team? I know he's not the only leader, but in the, the past few days, um, just how he, how he handled the group um, off the field. You know, Christian's been a, a leader of this team since day one. And I think he relishes that role. Um, you know, guys look up to him. Guys look to him for inspiration. And I think the most important thing about Christian is guys know in moments like this, he's going to step up because that's what he does. Um, he's always focused on, on the team. He's always fo focused on helping out. And I think he had a, um, you know, a, a great game overall, both offensively and defensively. Next will be Charlie Bone from MLSsoccer.com. Uh, hey, Greg, congrats on the results. Um, could you give us a little insight into how you set the team up in terms of where the block was, the shape, getting that right balance between uh, you know, defending well without getting stuck in a shell? Yeah, you know, it was, we wanted to pick and choose moments, and a lot of it has to do with, with, with the fitness, and a lot of it has to do with you know, the energy that the guys have. But we wanted to get in a higher block at times. We wanted to move up the field. Um, it's not always possible you know, due to their buildup, um, you know, really complicated with the 4-2-2-2, with the two, 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 basically. Um, and you have to protect the pockets. So, you know, we had a shape that we thought was going to eliminate some of the spaces centrally, um, make them play the ball wide. And, you know, fortunately, it, you know, it had a good effect on them. And overall, I think the guys executed um, really well. Next will be Kyle Bond from the Sporting News. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Greg, congrats on the result. Uh, I want to ask you about two players. Um, what can you say about Joe Scali the last few games? You know, in for Sergio, going against Luis Diaz and Vinicius, two of the world's top attackers. And then you, you touched a bit on Matt Turner. Uh, but, you know, he, you talked a bit about how that, that early goal, he got past that. With him, how do you balance? It seems like he's got maybe a bit of a propensity for possessional giveaways, but then that kind of shot, shot stopping ability, how do you balance that with your goalkeeper? You know, he's getting his rhythm. He's going to be fine um, come tournament time. It's, you can see that uh, he didn't have a regular slate of games, and it's going to take him a little bit to get into it. But, um, you know, he certainly did. He had an outstanding performance today. And, um, you know, he's growing, growing every day, both in training and the game. So we're, we're pleased with his. Um, progress. And then with Joe, you know, it's, 
you got two things at play here. You got a guy who's competing for a, a position and competing to be on the roster, and then you have to play against Luis Diaz and Vinny Jr. and you know and Rodrigo. And it's just like you know that's a lot. But what we're really happy with Joe is he really embraced that. You know, he didn't make excuses for the quality opponent he's playing against. He just went out and did his job. And I think in both of these games, he performed well and certainly earned a spot in the, in the roster. We'll take two more. Continue with Michael DeCourcy. Yeah, Greg, I, I wanted to ask, um, how much was this lineup influenced by the disappointment of the performance against Columbia? In other words, playing Christian 90 minutes, staying with a, a pretty regular lineup rather than making a lot of changes. How, how much of that was influenced to that, or did you just feel like 11 days to the first game of Copa, you didn't have to worry about burning guys out? Well, I think we made five changes, right? So one less than the maximum allowed. Um, so, you know, guys got game time. Uh, but, you know, for us, you know, looking at the, the starting 11 against Columbia, I think the performance, you know, was, was average. Uh, we could have done better. And then looking at the solutions, I thought the, the contribution was poor. And that was something that we wanted to have a better effect today. And I think the solutions came in and did a much better job today and really helped the team, whether that's Tyler or, or Johnny or Shaq. Ballo, I thought, had a, a good impact on the game. So overall, um, you know, happy with their contribution. Brazil coach is here and ready to join us. So we'll thank Greg. For those of you uh, who are joining the mix zone, it will be open in about five minutes. Thank you, guys.